got a video here you can use to test your knowledge of the AS organic conversions. So on each slide I'm going to ask how do you convert one thing into another. I'm going to wait a little bit to give you a chance to think and then reveal the answer and as well as the reagents and conditions if you can think about the name given to that particular reaction as well. So here's the first one. Alkane or alkene or alcohol to carbon dioxide and water. So you need a plentiful supply of oxygen and that's called complete combustion. The same but to carbon monoxide or carbon and water. And that would be an insufficient supply of oxygen and that's called incomplete combustion. Alkane to haloalkane. So you'd need a halogen, for example chlorine, UV light and that's known as radical substitution. Alkene to alkane. Hydrogen, nickel catalyst, 150 degrees C. The reaction is known as hydrogenation and it is an electrophilic addition reaction. Alkene to haloalkane. Hydrogen halide, for example, hydrogen bromide, and again it's called electrophilic addition. Alkene to dihaloalkane. And that would be with a halogen, for example, bromine. Electrophilic addition again, and you can see there I've got an observation the bromine would be decolorized in this reaction. Alkene to alcohol. Steam, so that means water in its gaseous state and a concentrated phosphoric acid catalyst. The reaction is known as hydration and again it's electrophilic addition. Alkene to polyalkene. So that would be a large number of alkene monomers, a high temperature and a high pressure and the name given to that reaction is addition polymerization. Primary alcohol to aldehyde. Acidified potassium dichromate and you would use distillation. So that's an example of mild oxidation and there's a colour change associated with that reaction, orange to green. And there's a picture there of some distillation apparatus. So essentially, as soon as the aldehyde's formed, it vaporizes, travels up here, and then escapes down the condenser tube, and it's condensed back into liquid by the cold water that's running around the outside of this inner tube. And so your aldehyde distillate would arrive in this flask here. Primary alcohol to carboxylic acid. So that's still acidified potassium dichromate, but now we would use reflux. So instead of mild oxidation, this is now full oxidation. Again, the colour changes orange to green. And the reflux apparatus looks like this. And so your first oxidation would produce the aldehyde, the vapour rises, but it condenses in here and drops back into the flask 
where there's more oxidizing agent so the oxidation the second oxidation from aldehyde to carboxylic acid takes place secondary alcohol to ketone still acidified potassium dichromate reflux and this is an example again of oxidation and we're still getting the color change orange to green alcohol to alkene so that's a phosphoric acid catalyst it's known as dehydration and it's an example of an elimination reaction alcohol to haloalkane so you'd use a hydrogen halide and the hydrogen halide is essentially produced in the reaction between the sulfuric acid and sodium halide mixture that you would reflux with the alcohol so these two chemicals generate the hydrogen halide and that then reacts with the alcohol and this is an example of substitution haloalkane to alcohol you would heat with water or aqueous hydroxide ions so that could be aqueous sodium hydroxide for example it's called a hydrolysis reaction and it's an example of nucleophilic substitution.